Thomas Alive to Die presents Stearns. Stern Brothers was founded in 1867 by Isaac, Louis, and Benjamin Stern, sons of German Jewish immigrants. In that year, they began selling dry goods in Buffalo, New York. From these humble beginnings, the Stern Brothers became an important merchandising family in New York City at the time. In 1868, they moved to New York City and opened a one-room store at 367 6th Avenue. In 1879, the store was again relocated to larger quarters at 110 West 23rd Street. Outgrowing the store at 110 West 23rd Street, Stern Brothers erected a new structure at the same location which became the new flagship store in 1878. It was noted for its cast iron facade at 32 to 36 West 23rd Street and 23 to 35 West 22nd Street. The building was designed by Henry Furbach. It was enlarged according to a design by W. M. Skinkel in 1892. The enormous six-story building was executed in the Renaissance Revival style. W. M. Skinkel's typically 19th century addition tripled the dimensions of the original structure on the eastern portion of the site. The tall central section of this addition animates the long and delicately detailed facade. The company's monogram is still located above the central arch which is still in use today as a home depot while the upper floors are used for showrooms. Many members of the Stern family worked in this store which carried both luxury goods and merchandise for the working classes. It was an elegant store noted for its fashionable clothes. Ladies from all over the city came to Stern Brothers for their Paris fashions. This enterprise was distinguished by its elegant doormen in top hats and the generous and friendly service of the Stearns themselves. Stern Brothers was a family business. The family for decades ran the store and family members filled the many positions in the store. However, Robert Stern, the son of founder Isaac Stern, changed his last name to Stearns and founded the investment bank Bear Stearns in 1923. It was not uncommon for customers to be greeted by the brothers themselves. The family was joined by Arthur D. Brandeis in 1914. His daughter, Alice Ruth, had married Irving C. Stern, one of the directors of Stern Brothers and son of founder Louis Stern. Brandeis was president of J.L. Brandeis and Sons of Omaha, Nebraska, the biggest department store west of Chicago. In 1913, Stern Brothers moved farther uptown and built a new flagship store near 5th Avenue and West 42nd Street across from Bryant Park. The new store had nine floors with the buying offices located in the basement. Stern's catered to the carriage trade and had a separate entrance for customers like the Goulds and Astors. Since the store was near the New York City's theater district, many up-and-coming media stars worked in the store. The busy hours of the store were between 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. when local workers from the area were on their lunch break. Stearns was purchased by Allied Stores Corporation in 1951. During the late 1950s and early 1960s, sales began to decline as most white New Yorkers moved to the suburbs. Stearns closed its flagship in New York in 1969 and moved their corporate headquarters to their store in Paramus, New Jersey's Bergen Mall, which became the flagship. At that time Stearns' owner, Allied Stores Corporation Stearns merged the division with the Quackenbush Division in Patterson, New Jersey. There was a second Quackenbush store in the Preakness section of Wayne, New Jersey. In the same year that Stearns moved its base to New Jersey, it opened a second location in Wayne that served as the fourth anchor for the newly constructed Wayne, New Jersey. Eventually the downtown Patterson store was closed. Stearns opened a new full-line store in the Woodbridge Center Mall in Woodbridge, New Jersey in 1971. Additional stores followed at Middlesex Mall in South Plainfield, New Jersey, Seaview Square Mall in Ocean Township, New Jersey, Ocean County Mall in Toms River, New Jersey amongst others. Stern now operated primarily in New Jersey merged with Gertz Department Stores in 1982. Gertz was owned by Allied Stores Corporation at the time. Stearns added stores in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in 1986 after purchasing several former Gimbel's department store locations including the one in Center City area and the gallery at Market East. 
Later that same year, Allied Stores Corporation was purchased by the Canadian real estate investment and development company Campo Corporation. Campo acquires Federated Department Stores in 1988. Beginning of Allied slash Federated Tandem Retail Operations. Five of the seven locations in the Philadelphia area market are closed all former Gimbel's department stores. By 1992 remaining two locations in the Philadelphia market are closed. Later that same year Allied Stores Corporation is fully merged into Federated Department Stores. By 1994 with the purchase of Macy's by Federated Department Stores, the Manhattan Mall location in New York City of Abraham and Strauss is converted to Stearns and serves as the flagship for the chain, which re-enters the New York market. By 2001 Federated Department Stores closes its Stearns division. Most of the Stearns locations are converted to Macy's immediately. Others are liquidated, with these stores either becoming Bloomingdale's or closing altogether Manhattan Mall Stearns location in New York City is one of these and laid vacant until it was redeveloped into office space, the lower floors now house a J.C. Penney. On July 7, 2020, J.C. Penney closed the Manhattan Mall location permanently as part of a plan to close 151 stores nationwide. This ending Stearns from the retail landscape forever. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like.